This was not a match for the faint-hearted. Uganda 11 won with 18 balls to spare, but the result could well have gone in favor of the tourists. After his battling half-century so, Takashinga set the hosts a victory target of 168. Winston Masakadza picked four wickets, including the one of Jonathan Sebanja, to trigger panic in the Ugandan camp. After a top-order collapse left Uganda 11 with 19 runs for four, Kamal Shazhad stroked a super 62 to bring the hosts in touching distance of victory. Uganda 11 coach Steve Tikolo was all praises for the mid-order batsman's effort. Uh, Shazad, being a left-hander, adds a lot of value into the batting lineup. Uh, left-handers in a batting lineup are a valuable asset. And the way he's been playing in the last three, four games, uh, he brings a, a lot of variety in the batting lineup for Uganda. After the wickets of Shazad, Frank Nsubuga and Sebanja fell almost in quick succession, Takashinga needed just one wicket to maintain the perfect record in the quadrangular tournament. Charles Waiswa had other ideas. He blazed 20 runs off 12 balls to hand the Zimbabwean outfit its first loss of the series. I think it's good both, both ways. For Ugandan cricket, we are here to actually teach them how to play cricket. And today they've actually taught us how to play cricket. So it's good for both sides. You don't go to a place and then you think you're going to win everything. You lose some and then you win some. Following today's hard-fought win, Steve Ticolo has set a new target for his charges in the round-robin tournament. Well, obviously, we need to win the two games that are remaining. But we'll take it one game at a time. We'll have a look at uh, the game we're playing tomorrow. Uganda select, look to win and win convincingly. And then after that, then think about the Kenyan game. But one game at a time right now. Uganda 11 plays Uganda Select at Chambogo Oval tomorrow. Takashinga will meantime want to get back to winning ways when they entertain a Kenya side that remains winless after today's seven-wicket hiding at the hands of Uganda Select.